Hi, welcome to a product review and test by Robojax. In this video, we are going to test this NE555 pulse weight modulation 3 ampere and 10 ampere um, motor controller. I'm going to test this with the input voltage of 12 volts, 15 volts, 18 volts, and 24 volts with different currents. This is the module, the pulse width modulation based off uh, 555 timer IC. This is used as a pulse width modulation. And then we have a power LED here that will tell you that the device is on. And this two terminal here, we have these two terminals. This is the input. From here, the input voltage goes to this uh, 7809. This is a 9 volt uh, regulator. It goes there. And from here, the circuit, the, this chip, and also the biasing of this uh, MOSFET is taken care of. And then we have a potentiometer here. And then and we have a potentiometer. This is 100 kilo where you can set the speed of your motor. The maximum current that they claim is uh, 3 ampere because of this uh, smaller heatsink and then we have here a diode that we have a diode that is connecting protecting this device from the inductive load of motor i removed this uh, capacitor in order to be able to read the mosfet it's the ru7088r the data sheet the drain source voltage of this one can be up to 70 volts but we cannot use it as 70 volt because of the uh, regulator in the circuit the maximum current the drain that this can handle at 10 volts would be 80 ampere um, we have here because we have very small uh, heatsink it limits the amount of current i'm going to test it with different current next this is the 7809 voltage degrader that is used in this device. And here is the data in the chip and the maximum input voltage is 35 volts. For that reason, the voltage input comes here and it goes to the 9 volt regulator. The rest of the circuit receives it and then the uh, pulse width modulation signal is mm, controlled by this chip and uh, drive by this MOSFET and get out to the mo uh, to your motor. If you want, uh, so the voltage of the input voltage is whatever is your motor voltage, but it should not exceed uh, uh, more than 25 volts. If in case you want to go up to 35 volts, because this chip can handle up to 35 volts, remove this capacitor, 470 microfarad, and replace it with uh, uh, the same capacitance, but higher voltage, let's say 50 volts or 36 volts, then it can handle 35 volts and it will be no problem. If you connect um, uh, anything above 25 volts, this capacitor will explode. The length of the module is 55.9 millimeter. The width is 36.1 millimeter. The height of the module is 23.8 millimeter. If you want to know the width of the module is 35.1 grams. I've connected this motor to this module now. This is the input. Input is around 13.6 volts, and this is now receiving that. And here is the controller. Let me see.
This was drawing 1.9 ampere. I'm going to connect this now to an electronic load that draws 3 ampere or higher. Now I've connected it to electronic load as I shown you this two wire is uh, this two is coming from my power supply and these two goes to the electronic load. This is the Rigal DL3130 electronic load that I'm using for this purpose and the two wires from the output of my circuit is connected in here and it shows now two volts uh, 20 volts and 2 ampere it can be turned on and turned off it just shows the voltage now there is no current and here I'm connecting it via USB to the electronic load now the output voltage is zero the current let's put it at 2 amp and now it's on so I'm going at the max now this is at the maximum and the uh, input voltage is transferred from here to the load and this is the load and 2 ampere is now currently drawn from here this very cool let's increase it to 3 ampere now the output current is 3 amp That's very cool. The regulator is off. Of course, this is drawing very little current, so this will never will heat up. So let's go for 4 amp. You can hear my power supply fan speed up. normal absolutely no difference now we are at 5 ampere the drain source when the device is at, at 10 volts and it's 40 ampere would be typical 6.5 milliohm the voltage drop we can do Ohm's law, V must is equal I times R, so 0 0.65, that's 6.5 milli, 6, 6.5 milli ohm times 5 ampere. We are getting 0 0.32 to 32 millivolts if drop. And of course 32 millivolts of times 5 is very little. So that's very nice. 5 amp ampere is absolutely nothing for this device. Let's go 6. Monitoring it. 7, 8, 9. Let's go 10 amp. I feel a little warmth, a little more than this, so it's absolutely normal. Temperature junction for this can be up to 100 degrees Celsius. So even if I feel 50, 60 degrees, it will be uh, very normal. So now I'm at 20 amp. warming up and heating up slowly very much so it heat up but not that significant still I can hold my finger now it's a 10 amp of course 10 amp is now very back very normal so let's go 11 so 11 12 13 amp
You see, this is what this spike of 20 ampere. Now again, this was 10, 11, and 12, and 13. This is now warming up, but I can hold. Now it's it got hotter, so let's reduce it to 12 and 10. Now this is a 10 ampere with 12 volts. Now let's increase the voltage to the next standard voltage of 15 volts. Now input is 15 volts. Now this is 150 watt motor. So with 15 volts 10 it's 150 watt. Now 18, I don't feel any. Hurting, but very cool because this can handle inside internally up to 100 degrees Celsius. So it's very normal for this. Every time I put it, I can hold it for a longer period. For conclusion, we can say that this is the best motor controller that you can get because the price is low and the seller or manufacturer have very mm, incorrect information about it. They've labeled it a 3 amp, but my tests show that this can go easily and uh, without any cooling or fan, it can go up to 10 amp uh, from 12 to 24 volts that I've tested it and it can control the motor perfectly definitely i would suggest this product it's well built except all the um, labels are chinese i've mentioned that this is the input do not make mistake and this is the output but the terminals have been labeled as plus minus so you will not make mistake thank you for watching this was the test and review of this pulse width modulation motor controller module if you learned and like this uh, video please thumb up if you have comment or questions please post it at the comment section below i try to answer or reply i appreciate it please subscribe so you can get the updates of my upcoming videos